What's up everyone, this is the Destroyer229. Welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Coliseum. Last time we beat Lady Venus and caught us a Suicune and in this episode we're going to pursue Lady Venus. If you're wondering why I'm so down right now, look at the last episode. Uh, I mean... I would have redone it, I did not save it, but I did not want to go through the trouble of catching Suicune again. Especially with some of my good lines that I had. Uh, but next time it desyncs, I'm just gonna put music over. I'm not going to just edit the game music because that just is not working. And also, I've had trouble doing this. This is my third take doing this just because, surprise, surprise, the other two horribly desynced. I'm getting tired of doing this, so hopefully this goes well. And... You know, if worse comes to worse, I probably would have to go back to post-commentary. But whatever, let's get back to the game! Lady Venus! You will not escape our wrath! But first, we can open up this door. And through this door, if we go up these stairs... We get to the Colosseum! So if you need to save or heal up, there's a convenient place to do that. And you're going to need to do that. Why? Well, if we go through this end, then Lady Venus will head down an elevator. Now, strange enough, you can't call the elevator to come back up. I know, you have to go through series of four trainers in order to do that so let's get started Frenna is going to attempt to stall us from catching Lady Venus she's gonna start things off with a Shroomish and a Teddy Ursa so let's go evolution okay Umbreon uh, you know what? Team attack on Teddy Ursa. Yeah, since this is my third take, I kind of know what these other Pokemon can handle, so it's not quite as fair. But oh well. XP. Her next Pokemon is a Jigglypuff. Fake tears. Mm. Alright, um... Umbreon, you attack Shroomish. Espeon, you go after Jigglypuff. And Jigglypuff, he gets taken down in one shot! And her final Pokémon is a Gligar! And it's a shadow Pokemon. So yeah, thing is, each one of these trainers has a shadow Pokemon. So you are going to want to go back if you decide to catch Suicune and buy more Pokeballs. You're gonna need them. Okay, so let's go with that. Espeon, you attack Shroomish. Secret power here does paralyze. Very helpful against Gligar because it's part ground! Ground and flying, so electric attacks will do absolutely nothing. Although it would still get affected by um, static if it does physically hit Ampharos. But maybe we won't need Ampharos. Or maybe we will. Or maybe we won't. <laughs> Okay, Umbreon, you bite, Espeon, yeah, go for Psybeam. Alright, that's pretty good. One bite should be enough to catch. Alright, that's nice. Sand attack. Oh no, you're going to lower my accuracy. Whatever shall I do? Well, normally I would use Swift, but I need to catch you, so... 
Ultra Balls Ahoy! I got 10 Ultra Balls. Well, actually I bought 9. I had 1 left. So let's use the Ultra Balls now! Alright, 1, 2, 3, and Gligar's ours. Gligar is kind of a cheap Pokemon because it can learn Dig and... You know, it's cheap because it can go underground, you use a ground type move, it should hit it. And yet it's saying, oh no, it doesn't affect it, even though it's underground. Now here, pointless option, say yes, she's just gonna go, wah, hit no. I wanna cry, wah, she cries anyway. Kind of sad, but oh well, she's working for Cypher. We have no sympathy for Cypher sympathies. So, Leax is going to attempt to stall us even more, even more! With a Roselia and a Curlia. Okay, so, Umbreon Espeon, still doing good. Oh, it's at level 42. So, we'll go after Curlia, Espeon, Roselia. And bam! Roselia is down. Yay! Level 40! Yay! Level 40! Her next Pokemon is a Gloom. Yeah, really. Espeon and Umbreon got it easy this match. So there goes Curlia. XP, XP, everyone loves XP. Her final Pokemon is a Stantler. And if you were paying attention to what I said earlier, it's a Shadow Pokemon. And it has Intimidate. Great. Okay, so, Umbreon, let's see if you can try to paralyze Stantler. Espeon, you take down the little. No Gloom can stand up to the might of Psy Beam. Oh yeah, that's the bad thing about Stantler. Is that... It knows two recoil moves. Shadow Rush and Takedown. Yeah. Yeah! So, yeah, you've got that going against you. Uh, let's... Try return. Let's see how well that does. Barely anything at all. Fantastic. Ooh. Eh. Um. I'm not sure. Let's try catching it. Let's see how well that turns out. Espeon, you use reflect. Trying to catch these Pokemon in the yellow, generally not a good idea. I, you can get down to the red and paralyze, you're set. Yellow, you're risking it. Case in point! Yeah, but since it knows two recoil moves... Or it can be paralyzed. Um, okay, let's go with that. Espeon. Let's try a Great Ball just for kicks. After all, I've got 14 of them. I can spare one. Alright. One. Oh, god dang it. Umbreon! Come back! Swablu, you go on out. Eh. Swablu Shadow Rush, Espeon. You know, it's probably not. Let's use Reflect, even though it will do absolutely nothing. There we go. Now it's good enough to catch. And of course it gets its Shadow Rush in after I get my attack in. Fantastic. 
Um, Mischievous, you get on out there. You will not do anything, really. Swablu, you sing. Mischievous, use Ultra Ball. Yes, because Mischievous can totally throw an Ultra Ball. One? What? Oh, come on! I was able to catch it easy the other two times. How is it that it's not being caught now? Oh, no! You little piece of crap! No! Oh, God. God dang it. Well, I guess I'm going to be redoing this a fourth time. I'm going to stop my recording here, although I'll probably pick this up in the same episode. Just to make sure this didn't desync. So, I will be back to make sure this didn't desync, and I will have that Stantler. Alright, so... My commentary didn't end. Well, not my commentary, but the game didn't desync! Hooray! So let's go through this building, or room, and we have two boxes. Over to the left, we have two timer balls. Speaking of which, I actually did go back and catch Stantler with, strangely enough, a timer ball. Wish you guys could have seen that, but oh well. Right box, two max potions, which fully restore our Pokemon's hit points, no matter what they may be. I don't believe you can buy them in stores. I might be wrong on that. But at this point, hyper potions are just as good for us. So, with our third, and what's probably going to be our final battle for this episode, is Lonia, who's going to send out a Dunsparce and a Mascarian. And I also went back and healed my Pokemon after I caught Stantler, so... Yeah, wanted to be prepared. I yeah, might as well have healed up. Okay, Umbreon, eh, you take down my scary. Espeon, you attack. Team attack! Alright. Om nom nom! That barely did much. Not Espeon! No! <laughs> Synchronization. And let me guess, Espeon. Because that's all everyone ever attacks, apparently. Okay, um, Umbreon, we're gonna use your turn to heal. Let's see, I should. Paralyze here, yep. Use final use of those items. Final use. Finally, a use for those items we got at the beginning of the game. But, Mascarian down! And more XP! Hooray! Your next Pokemon! Octillery. Oh boy, I remember previous go through. Octillery. Freaking annoying. Let's go ahead and confuse it. Espeon, you take care of Dunsparce. I think I would switch to Ampharos, but I do have that Dunsparce going after. So I'm going to have Umbreon take care of it. See how well this works. Oh, god dang it. See, it's always Espeon. I don't know why. These trainers always target Espeon. And really, how many times has my opponent actually gotten their attacks through with confusion? Uh, oh, crap, right. Um... You know what, let's let's try our luck. Okay. That didn't do much. Yeah! 
see, I don't get it. For me, normally it's about 50-50, like it's intended. This let's play, it seems to be, confusion seems to be entirely in my favor. And our final Pokemon, Pyloswine. Which again, is her shadow Pokemon. Pyloswine, freaking annoying because, surprise, it's a ground type. All right, let's try Secret Power, Espeon, you attack Octillery. Now, once again, you can try to do, um, you can try to use the, crap, uh, ability static, but, oh, wow, she's finally aiming at Umbreon. But since Oct, damn, since Pyloswine knows Dig, that's generally not a good idea. Um, Umbreon, let's go ahead and attack Artillery. Espeon, you weaken Pile of Swine when it comes up. Alright, one more hit should do. And... She's actually aiming at Umbreon. Really, they never did that before in the previous takes. Okay, that's good. Um, Espeon's probably not going to be able to get another hit in. Let's try Reflect, see how well that works. Or at least Octillery's down, so Espeon will still get the XP! Yep, dig. Ah, oh, it's not even gonna do that. Okay, well... Idea! Switch to Ampharos, switch to Mischievous. Going to use Ampharos to hopefully reduce its speed. By switching to Mischievous, it's gonna miss. Get it. Nah, nah. Okay, so Cotton Spore, let's see how well that does. Mischievous, use a Shadow Ball. Okay, that's pretty good. God dang it. Aimed it at Ampharos. Okay, well, you know what? If Ampharos lives, I want to test to see Pilots. I distinctly remember Pilot Swine being a ground type. And actually, I'm going to take my chances. Let's try an Ultra Ball. Let's actually try to catch Pilot Swine. I kind of doubt it with it being in the yellow and no status effect, but I'm going to give it a shot. Okay, one. Two. Yeah. I didn't figure it would work. Did better than I expected to do, though. And yeah, aha! Paralyzed. And yeah, Palace went to ground type. Um, cotton spore. Why not? Mischievous. Try another timer ball. I caught Stantler with it. I can probably catch Palace Swine in it. Alright, let's go. One, two, three. Oh yeah! Haha! <laughs> and that is why I love timer balls. Okay, so Lonia is down. And we got over a thousand Poké Dollars for that. I think that's probably the most you get from a regular trainer. But down here. We have our fourth and final person guarding the way. But there's an item box over here. And we get four Ultra Balls! So, next time on Let's Play Pokemon Coliseum. We can't even use the elevator to go back. Next time on Let's Play Pokemon Coliseum. 
We will take down the fourth and final trainer standing between us and Lady Venus. Until then! <laughs>